गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टुडे वी विल डिस्कस आवर न्यू टॉपिक इक्लिब्रियम इक्लिब्रियम इट इज अ कंडीशन इन विच फोर्स कैंसल अनदर फोर्स मीन्स वन फोर्स कैंसल अनदर फोर्स विच रिजल इन स्टेबिलिटी एंड बैलेंस इन इक्लिब्रियम द फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन द ऑब्जेक्ट इज जीरो ओके द फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन इट इज जीरो बिकॉज वन फोर्स कैंसल अनदर फोर्स ड्यू टू विच रिजल्ट इन स्टेबिलिटी एंड बैलेंस देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ इक्लिब्रियम स्टैटिक इक्लिब्रियम एंड डायनामिक इक्लिब्रियम स्टैटिक इक्लिब्रियम मीन्स बैलेंसिंग योर बॉडी स्टैटिक इक्लिब्रियम और वी कैन से बैलेंस मीन्स बैलेंसिंग योर बॉडी एट रेस्ट ओके स्टैटिक मीन्स फिक्स सो स्टैटिक इक्लिब्रियम मीन्स बैलेंसिंग योर बैलेंसिंग योर बॉडी एट रेस्ट कंप्लीट मोशनलेस एंड डायनामिक इक्लिब्रियम डायनामिक मीन्स मोशन सो बैलेंसिंग योर बॉडी वाइल इन मोशन ओके डायनामिक इक्लिब्रियम मीन्स balancing your body while in motion look at here in uh, equilibrium in equilibrium one force cancel another force for example in seesaw in seesaw here is one student and here is one student they will be in a balance when the this force cancel another force okay the balance is possible when the force acting on this the force of this object cancel this object which cause balance and in equilibrium the force uh, the force acting on the object is zero two type of equilibrium static and dynamic static also known as balance means um <coughs> balancing your body at rest body is completely rest motionless and dynamic means balancing your body while in motion for example uh, during gymnastic okay uh, standing on one leg it is an example of static equilibrium static equilibrium balance and dynamic equilibrium for example during gymnastic okay during gymnastic you are in motion and you are um balancing your body in that condition in that uh, movement condition also next is center of gravity center of gravity it is the point at which uh, center of gravity it is the point at which the body weight is balanced okay it is the point at which the body weight is balanced in all the direction for example the center of gravity of this person is here the center of gravity of this person he sees and at this point the weight of her body is balanced okay at this point the weight of her, uh, the body weight at this point the body weight is equally equally balanced in all direction and here the center of gravity of a person is at this point the body weight is equally balanced in all direction some principle principle of stability and balance center of gravity within the base of support if the center of gravity is within the base of support there will be the more stability okay if the center of gravity is within the base there will be the more stability widen the base of support if the base is wide wider the base there will be the more stability of an object okay if we increase uh, to increase the stability we have to increase the uh, increase the base of support lower center of gravity if the center of gravity is less there will be the more stability for more stability the center of gravity should be lower 
expand the base of support if the base of support is increased by increasing the base of support there will be the more stability there will be the more stability and balance increase friction between supporting surface if the friction if the force um by increasing the friction there will be the more stability okay greater the friction more will be the stability increase mass if the weight of the object is more there will be the more stability higher the weight there will be the more stability push or pull close to the base of support if we are pushing or pulling the object from a close okay jitne close se hum push or pull karenge utna hi zyada there will be the more stability proper catching technique if we have proper knowledge then there will be the more stability proper falling technique the player should have proper knowledge of proper falling technique if he uh, has a proper knowledge then it have to um, reduce the injury for example at a time of doing the long jump the player bend his knee okay at the time of uh, at the time of falling the player bend his knee okay so that the uh, so that to avoid the injury okay so the player should have proper knowledge of the falling technique rotation about the axis if the players have knowledge about the axis then there will be the more stability for example in moving cycle the players can easily uh, is the balance in a cycle if he have a knowledge about the axis these are the some principle of stability principle of uh, stability and balance okay first thing is equilibrium what is equilibrium equilibrium it is a condition in which one force cancel another force which result in balance or stability in equilibrium the force acting on the object is zero there are two types of equilibrium static equilibrium and dynamic equilibrium static equilibrium means balancing your body at rest for example standing standing in one leg okay standing in one leg okay balancing your body in one leg and dynamic equilibrium means balancing your body while in motion for example in gymnastic okay in gymnastic balancing your body while in motion center of gravity center of gravity it is the point at which the weight of the body is balanced in all the direction and the principle of some principle of stability and balance for example in weight lifting in weight lifting the player the players widen his base by keeping the feet apart okay weight lifting the weight lifting his keep his leg open to uh, increase the stability okay if he um, if he make a distance across shoulder distance then there will be the more stability or in wrestling wrestling also the player lower down his Uh, the player lower down uh, or bend his um, bend down to lower the center of gravity some principles like lower the center of gravity if the center of gravity is less there will be the more stability if the friction is more greater the friction more will be the stability because the friction does not allow you to do movement okay therefore greater the friction greater will be the stability um base if the base of support is more there will be the more stability increasing increasing the mass if the mass of the object is more there will be the more stability these are the some principles we have
<coughs> look at here some mcq question first is anatomy anatomy it is the anatomy it is the study of um anatomy anatomy it is the study of structure structure of human body okay anatomy it is a branch of biology it is a branch of biology in which we study about the structure of a human body we study the structure its shape size etc of a human body and how it interrelated with each others kinesiology kinesiology it is the study of body movement in kinesiology we study about the human body movement largest bones largest bone is femur bone which is found in thigh hip joint hip joint is also known as ball and socket joint muscle bring external external movement internal movement uh, heart contractions all of the above okay muscles it's help in movement due to the muscular contractions the movement external and internal movement is possible okay so muscles helps in bringing external movement internal movement heart contraction sartorius muscles helps to bring movement in leg cardiac output cardiac output is the cardiac output is the amount of blood pumped out by the heart in 1 minute equilibrium equilibrium position is standing on one foot balancing on small ball walking on hanging rope and all of the above all of the above okay equilibrium means balancing uh, equilibrium it is a condition equilibrium in balancing condition in which one force cancel another force okay if one force cancel another force is result in balancing stability lower the center of gravity if the center of gravity is less there will be the more stability now student we have complete our uh, we have complete our hmm, in this chapters fundamentals of anatomy physiology and kinesiology in which anatomy anatomy it is a branch of biology okay anatomy kya hai it is a branch of biology in which we study about the human body movement okay in which we study about the structure anatomy in anatomy we study about the structure of the human body its shape structures and how it interrelated with each others and in physiology physiology it is a science in which we study about the functioning of various system or organs okay physiology in physiology we study about the functioning of various organs or system in a human being and how it interrelated with each others etc there are some physiological system of human body like skeletal system skeletal systems it protect the internal organs okay skeletal system it's help to protect the internal organs and also give junction to the skeletal muscle skeletal system consists bones joint cartilage etc muscular system muscular systems helps in bringing the movement due to muscular contraction the movement is possible okay external and internal movement it is possible due to the muscular contraction muscular system consists of muscle tendon ligament etc circulatory system circulatory system help in circulation of blood throughout the body okay blood circulatory system help in blood transportation uh etc throughout the body and it's help to um it provide the fluid movement in the body circulatory system consists of blood blood vessels heart etc 
respiratory system respiratory systems helps in bringing the oxygen okay in respiratory system it's help to bring oxygen and uh, carbon dioxide is exhale okay in respiratory system oxygen is intake and carbon dioxide is exhale it consists of breathing it consists of lungs trachea alveoli etc and respiratory system help in energy production okay respiratory system help in energy productions because it helps to bring it help in bringing the oxygen oxygen is intake and carbon dioxide is exhale from the blood digestive system digestive system it's also help in energy production digestive systems help in breakdown of the food breakdown of the food into simple soluble form and provide the energy and help in energy production digestive system consist stomach food pipe intestine etc nervous system nervous systems helps helps to control the working of various organs of the body okay nervous system help to control the various organs of the body it consists of brain spinal cord nerves etc glandular system glandular systems also helps the various organs glandular systems helps various organs to work properly okay it's help the organs to work properly it consists endocrine gland exocrine gland livers pancreas thyroid adrenals etc okay this helps in various organs to function properly excretory system excretory systems helps in removing the waste product from our body it consists of skin kidney etc reproductive system reproductive system help in reproducing the young one okay reproductive is uh, reproductive system help in producing the uh, young one some and the meaning of kinesiology kinesiology it is the scientific study of human body movement how the human body move skeletal system what is skeletal system our uh, skeletal system it consists of bones and joint and provide attachment to the muscles and this skeletal systems protect our internal organs protect our internal organs uh, there are uh, bones skeletal systems it consists of 206 bones and bone is divided into three part head uh, head bone soft bone and and or tail there are the types of bones long bone short bone long bone short bone uh, flat bones irregular bone sesamoid bone and cartilaginous bones long bones which is present in the leg arm short bone short bone which is present in wrist flat bone flat bones which is present in sternum uh, scapula etc irregular vein irregular bones uh, which is present in vertebra skull sesamoid bones uh, sesamoid bones uh, like patella etc it's uh, um, protect the tendons okay it helps to fix the tendon and cartilaginous bones cartilaginous bones are the soft and uh, flexible bones it are found in ear and nose uh, types of joint there are three types of joint immovable joint slightly movable joint and freely movable joint immovable joint are those joint which are not uh, immovable joint that is fixed joint 
दैट इज बोन्स आर फिक्स नो मूवमेंट इज पॉसिबल फॉर एग्जाम्पल स्कल ज्वाइन स्लाइटली मूवेबल ज्वाइन स्लाइटली मूवेबल ज्वाइन आर डोज ज्वाइन इन विच स्लाइट मूवमेंट इज पॉसिबल फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन इंटर वर्टिब्रेशन इंटर वर्टिब्रा एंड फ्रीली मूवेबल ज्वाइन फ्रीली मूवेबल ज्वाइन इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज साइनोवियल ज्वाइन दिस फ्रीली मूवेबल ज्वाइन मूव फ्रीली टू अ ग्रेट एक्सटेंड इट इज ड्यू टू द ड्यू टू द साइनोवियल फ्लूड विच इज प्रेजेंट इन द ज्वाइन दिस साइनोवियल फ्लूड एक्ट एज अ ग्रेसिंग एजेंट विच मेक द ज्वाइन स्लीपी एंड इट मूव फ्रीली देर आर सिक्स टाइप ऑफ देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ साइनोवियल ज्वाइन लाइक बॉल एंड सॉकेट ज्वाइन बॉल एंड सॉकेट साइन ज्वाइन विच इज प्रेजेंट इन द शोल्डर एंड हिप इट प्रोवाइड यू मैक्सिमम मूवमेंट बॉल एंड सॉकेट ज्वाइन प्रोवाइड यू मैक्सिमम मूवमेंट हिंग ज्वाइन हिंग ज्वाइन इट इज प्रेजेंट इन प्रेजेंट एट एल्बोम इट प्रोवाइड इट प्रोवाइड यू वन एटी डिग्री मूवमेंट अपवर्ड एंड डाउनवर्ड मूवमेंट ओके इट प्रोवाइड यू वन एटी डिग्री मूवमेंट अलाउ द फॉरवर्ड एंड बैकवर्ड मूवमेंट इन वन प्लेन पीबो ज्वाइन पीबो ज्वाइन इट इज द ओनली ज्वाइन विच इज प्रेजेंट एट नेक ओके पीबो ज्वाइन इट इज प्रेजेंट एट नेक नेक ज्वाइन इज ऑल इज नोन एज पीबो ज्वाइन इट्स प्रोवाइड यू रोटेशन मूवमेंट दिस पीबो ज्वाइन इट प्रोवाइड यू रोटेशन मूवमेंट लाइक दिस this type of rotation okay this is a uh, this is the joint and is provide you rotation movement gliding joint uh, gliding joint this gliding joint the bone surface that the joint hold together are um are flat okay in gliding joint the bone surface that hold the joint together are flat for example the carpal joint saddle joint saddle joint uh, in saddle joint the movement take place at two axes and allow the uh, movement in two directions for example the joint of the thumb thumb joint okay the movement take place in two axes take place in two axes condylite joint this is the condylite joint in condylite uh, condylite joint the flexion extension flexion extension um abduction abduction and circumduction this type of movement possible and it is present at the wrist these are the some types of joint next is um and the skeletal system it uh, it have to support the skeletal system it pro uh, provide the uh framework it provide a structure to the individual it provides shape it protect the internal organs act as a junctions it is store house it is a store house of important minerals and salt manufacturing skeletal system also helps to manufactures red blood cells skeletal systems also act as liver and skeletal system also helps to provide movement etc next is muscular system muscular system the uh, muscular system due to muscle every movement whether internal or external is due to the muscular contraction muscular contraction means shortening and lengthening of muscles okay due to the muscular contraction the internal or external movement is possible muscle uh muscles help in circulation of circulation of blood it also protect protect the internal organs and hold the organs at its fixed place give shape and structure to the body and this muscle also work under our control 
there are some muscles which work under our controls these are called um voluntary muscles okay voluntary or skeletal muscle voluntary muscle which work under our control like the muscle of the leg hand and involuntary muscles those muscles which does not work according to the will of the persons for example the muscle present in our digestive system blood vessel etc and cardiac muscle cardiac muscle it is a involuntary uh, involuntary muscle but it is uh, its shape is different it is this cardiac muscle it is only present in the uh, present in the heart and the mechanism of muscular contraction how the muscle contract first is the contraction the muscle contract or shorten when stimulated by the central nervous system okay muscular contraction the muscle contract when it is stimulated by the central nervous system the messages are sent the messages are sent here the muscular contraction the muscle contract when stimulated by the central nervous system messages are sent via motor neuron this motor neuron is uh, motor neuron uh, motor neuron it is split it is split into many branches and it is attached to the muscle fiber this is the muscle fibers and this is a neuron neuron the message is sent via neuron and neuron it is split into many branches and it is attached to the muscle fibers this attachment where the a uh, neuron attached to the muscle this is known as motor and plate and when the uh, when the messages uh, are sent via motor neuron this motor neuron split and is attached to the uh, muscle fibers when stimulated by the motor neuron okay when stimulated by the motor neuron it release the chemical it release the chemical at here at this motor and plate okay this motor and plate is also known as synapse when motor neuron is stimulated it release the chemical and it result in uh, this actin and myosin filaments slide over each others which cause okay which release the chemicals at a motor and plate which bring actin and myosin filament slide over each others thus the shortening of muscle take place mechanisms respiratory system respiratory system in respiratory system the oxygen is inhaled and carbon dioxide is exhaled respiratory system uh, respiratory system uh, it consists of mouth nose larynx pharynx etc in uh, respiratory system oxygen is fused with the blood and carbon dioxide is diffused from the blood respiratory system there are two type of respiratory system internal respiratory system and external respiratory system in external respiratory system external respiratory system is also known as breathing in external respiratory system it take place ex external respiratory system take place in lungs the impure blood the impure blood okay blood is uh, in external respiration the blood is uh, the oxygen is fused with the blood and the carbon dioxide is diffused from the blood okay in external respiration the oxygen is fused with the blood and carbon dioxide is diffused from the blood internal respiration the internal respiration in internal respiration the oxygenated blood pure oxygen okay pure blood that is oxygenated uh, oxygenated blood this to the walking tissue and cell and use this oxygen to produce the energy when the energy is produced it release the by product that is it release carbon dioxide this carbon dioxide is again fused with the blood and it is 
taken by the blood to the lungs for purification. And circulatory system, circulatory system means circulation of blood throughout the body. Okay, circulatory system means circulation of blood throughout the body. Circulatory system help in the circulations of various nutrients, etc. with the help of blood. And um, cardiac uh, stock volume, stock volume means the amount of blood pump out by the heart in one minute cardiac output means the amount of blood pumped out by the heart in one minute in one minute our heart pump about five to six liters uh, uh, of about 20 liters 20 liters whereas in train the blood pump about 40 liters and blood pressure blood pressure is the pressures on the blood pressure it is the uh, blood pressure it is the force exerted by the blood on the wall of the blood vessels when it's uh, moved through it there are two types of blood pressure systolic and diastolic systolic means higher pressures exerted by the blood that is 180 mm at G 120 and diastolic means the lowest pressure uh, lowest pressures while it uh, while it travel through it and it is 80 mm at G these are the some fundamentals of anatomy physiology and kinesiology